Here, we just want to note some important properties of modular arithmetic. So if we have any congruence classes a, b, and c, and the integers mod n, um, we get the following properties. The first one is that we have closure of addition. So that means that if a is in z mod nz, and b is in z mod nz, then a plus b is also in there. And so for the sake of space, let me just write this a little bit differently to the left here. So if a and b are in z mod nz, then a plus b is in it. Next, we have associativity of addition. So that tells us that we have a plus, and I wrote, excuse me, I just realized how wrongly I, the, my notation was previously. Here, I should have a plus b, just like that. Okay, um, so now we're uh, looking at property two, associative of addition. So if we have a plus the sum of b and c, that's the same thing as the sum of a and b plus c. We also have a commutative property under addition, which tells us that a plus b is equivalent to b plus a. We have an identity element, uh, an additive identity element, so that tells us there's a zero, so that a plus zero is equal to a is equal to zero plus a. And we also know the equation, following up on this last point, the equation a plus x equals zero has a solution in z mod nz for every a that's in that set. Now we also have closure of multiplication. So if a and b uh, and let me write this the way I did the first time with a comma. If a and b are in z mod nz, then a times b is. We have associative um, under the associative property with multiplication. So if we have a times the product of b and c, that's equal to the product of a and c times the product of b. We have the distributive property, so we'll write that as follows. If we have, and that tells us that multiplication distributes over addition, so we have a times the sum of b and c, that's equivalent to a times b plus a times c. And then similarly, if we have a plus b times c, that's equivalent to a times c plus b times c. Now, the commutative property with multiplication is just going to be a times b equals b times a. And this multiplicative identity means we have a 1, so that a times 1 is equal to a is equal to 1 times a. 
So these are properties we're going to use a lot in our computations. Um, and so it's important to try to just get them all written down in one place.